It's a beautiful Sunday morning. We are here once again to take a look at issues as it affects you and I on the program this morning on ITV. You can call it TMI if you want to. I am Wilson Amashat. Well, today we're taking a look at what is really going on in the Edo State, talking about the Edo State political crisis and the Abuja effect, because it's like all roads from Abuja. It's now from a do state rather, it's now leading to Abuja. Is this the pathway of peace and tranquility? Don't forget uh, the coming into the situation by the National Assembly, talking about the House of Representatives and the Senate. Everyone is really working hard to make sure that this issue, this embroglio, is resolved. We're here in the studio to do justice to this talk. I have uh, Barrister Patrick Isekwenu. He is a uh, current uh, state chairman of Nigeria Society of International Law, a state chapter, a human rights activist. Uh, you know, lots and lots of encomium shout on this uh, young man. I just can't go into all of them. Barrister, welcome to the show. We say good morning. All right. Yeah, very close. Happy view. All right, very close to him is Barrister Matthew Edegase, a human rights activist, also political analyst. Welcome to the show, Barrister Matthew. Thank you. I appreciate it's your coming. It's Edegase. Edegase. Yes. Welcome to the show, sir. Thanks for having me. And of course, uh, Barrister Dele Ibinejo, he calls himself the lawyer's lawyer. <laughs> and of course, a human rights uh, activist, a political analyst. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you. Good morning. Hello, viewers. I, just for correction, sir, I don't call myself lawyer's lawyer. Oh, uh, okay, fine. I'm just a, a lawyer. A lawyer. Thank yeah. you, sir. I thought I saw it somewhere on the Facebook, you know. Anyway, that's by the way. A lawyer. Well, I say I dream of being. Being. Mm. Uh, yeah. That is a dream. Yeah. Whatever you dream, you can easily make it <laughs> come into fruition. All right, gentlemen. Here we are. We've been talking about this for several months now, and it's like the problem isn't going away. And right now, all roads seems to be leading to Abuja. Last week, it was Abuja, Abuja, Abuja. That is where the information was emanating from. People are like wondering, the battleground has it shifted to Abuja. What's so special about the seat of power that problems, situations, bedeviling state are taken to the center for resolution? Let me start off from you, Barrister Abdele Ibnidio. How do you see this new development? Well, um... It's, it's uh, actually, to be honest, it's neither here nor there. Um, the effort by the National Assembly to wade in into the perceived crisis in the state, um, on the one hand, is um, is commendable. On the one hand, uh, if I might characterize it like that, because when when there are two contending parties, um, as we say in our local parlance, if two people are fighting and the third person comes, his role should be to try to um, you know, mediate and see mm -hmm. how he can bring about peace and certainly not to join one of the parties. So that's why I say on the one hand, ordinarily it is commendable. Um, you know, there is also the assertion that um, you know, certain persons who are in Abuja um, are the ones who are sort of fueling it. Uh, whichever way it is, uh, when, when the third party comes in, their role should be you know, to, to sort of, uh, you know, quell the, um, the disturbance, if any, if perceived any. Aha. Uh -huh. Although it's a, it's a totally different matter in terms of their resolutions. Um, you know, I have issues with that on one hand, with the, with the, with the resolutions which they have, uh, you know, sort of proposed. I would have thought that they would have been more, um, more advisory, they would have mellowed instead of trying to, um, you know, um, exacerbate the situation. So um, I'm saying, you know, in effect that the Abuja intervention is, is something that, you know, should be encouraged. However, how they go about it is a totally different, uh, you know, matter entirely. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you so much for your opening. Uh, Mr. Matthew, you heard him. He talked about the role of uh, the National Assembly, talking about the House of Representatives specifically, should have been advisory, not exacerbating the situation. How do you feel about his views? As much as uh, we are talking about intervention, 
there should be basis for the intervention, for any form of intervention. Intervention should not uh, pass for, interference should not pass for intervention. When you are interfering in the matter, where you are not called upon to come and, in fact, there is no, there is no circumstance warranting your intervention, it becomes interference. I think the Abuja arrangement is uncalled for. As far as we are concerned, we are in this state. We are resident here. We are not watching from a distance. There is no basis for any intervention by the National Assembly to start with. The law that gives them that power to interf intervene is, uh, is stated in Section 11, Subsection 4 and 5 of the Nigeria Constitution. The prevailing circumstance referred to there is not in existence in those states. You are not intervening when there is no legal crisis or even political crisis. And if there is, there is a place where that can be interpreted. I think the intervention is basically on the issue of uh, the propriety of that of the inaugurated house. And that itself is a matter before the court for adjudication. And several we have heard that the National Assembly do not interfere with a matter if it's already before the court. They have declined interfering with any issue that has to do with uh, litigation, that, has, that is already under litigation. But in this case, they have to bypass their own rules to come and superimpose their, their interference with their non intervention. That session states when they are unable to carry out their legitimate business by any circumstance. In Edo State, the sitting is going on seamlessly. We are watching them. There is no such handicap. If you are unable to attend inauguration, it's a very simple case of going there and getting yourself inaugurated. How does that call for national assembly intervention? Are they going, are you debarred from entering the floor of the house? If that is the case, the election of each and every of the members elect was done severally, not collectively. We didn't vote for a collective, for a group. This idea of artificial creation of one group, another group, no. You can't be a group outside the house and you are talking about your interest in the house. Each constituency voted for one assembly member. And if there's any grievance, each of them has individual right to pursue. There's no group right there. All right. So the intervention is unnecessary. It's interference. They are calling intervention. Okay. There's uh, no basis what, for it. From what Barrister Delay Benedio uh, talked about, he talked about intervention. You called it interference. interference. Barrister Patrick, do you define your opinions? I, uh, I think I, I, I align myself totally with the last speaker in the sense that uh, I have said, go to our stand, our stand law, I mean the constitution, mm. and the constitution, critically, I did not see anywhere the constitution give the National Assembly, as of rep, quote, the power to do what they did. For me, they're just mere busybody. They're just the truth of the matter. They're just mere busybody. Because the, the, the session they are relying on now, as section 11, constitution 4, that they have power to oversee to the state of an assembly if they are unable to perform. Now, even the constitution there, you see, it's, it's also vague. It never says of rep. It never says uh, national assembly. It not, it, it not say uh, national assemblies. So it's not, not more than claim bro. But that, but that section, because that claim bro is vague. So for them now to just jump into out of rep, even when you say you want to mediate an issue as a mediator, you don't give orders. The order they give. No. You only smell less say, advisory, you mediate, you like what my, my little brother said, that you mediate, you try to make peace. That is their role. Not by them taking on those, as if they have the, the constitution of affairs on their house of prayer to give such or that. No. No. So the, I want the constitution to say that when they are unable to perform, any circumstance, anything can lead, there can be any circumstance which is not specified, uh, they can come in. Probably, I think, let's example, the one that just happened now. They just are coming in now. No. Because the house is sitting. You have a house of assembly, you have a speaker, you have a deputy speaker. I want to be honest for ourselves. There yeah, is all. Why are you coming in to inter try interfere? I don't say they're they busy body. Above that, above all, there's a point the matter is in the court. You know, they don't have a, no body interferes. They are aware that the matter is in the court. Once the matter is in the court, you have to step let the court finish their action. They want to want to buy court. I don't, I don't have to play in the role of court. That shows they're more to it than what you see. 
So that I said, it's, it's a very busy body. That I nobody will take me serious because they don't follow the due process. Mm. That is the truth of the matter. Now, what I have answered the question by uh, by such a eh, of our constitution, my national constitution. Maybe it's a quorum. He said, one third of the members. Check out the other men. Can we one third? And they have mine. Instead of eight. It's, it's legal. So what are you talking about? I don't want to be the bush. Do not take advice on them. No matter what, I finish up the case. That's why I shall not come in on other assembly, Senate, they are not busy bodies. That's my position. Look at that, that's your own position. Yes. Whatever they say here is entitled on opinion and they are stressing on it. It has nothing to do with ITV radio. Now, is it a crime for the house to say, look, there is a kind of a trouble, not a kind of, there's crisis in Edo State. Let's come uh, intervene. Let's come see if we can provide a solution because according to Barrister Patrick, that section is vague. Well, um, I, I, I would advocate at this point in the development of the issues that we must all be tempered in our statements, in our utterances, um, in the positions that we take. This is, this is my own, because Edo State has to move forward. We need peace to move forward. The governor needs to concentrate and focus. The House of Assembly must be there to perform their functions while the judiciary will perform their own functions. So all of these armed organs of government must be working together in tandem in order for the state to move forward. And if there is any schism, in, particularly in the legislature, where they are unable to perform their functions, it is not a crime for the National Assembly to come in. But what the Constitution provides mm. is that the National Assembly can make laws. Now, the, the implication is that it should be the joint session of the National Assembly. That is the House of Reps and the House of Senate making laws, not passing resolutions. So that is, that is on one side not passing resolutions. Now, again, I, I, I need to stress a point because I know where everybody is agitated on this. Mm. And it's been taken care of by the Constitution. And if you listen to the speech by the governor, I talked about people are trying to remove him from office and this and that. I, I want to use opportunity to, to, to allay his fears because that, I think that is the end game of this whole thing, you know, in one side. And that is the end fear of the other side, that if this group take over, they might impeach him. If this group, I shouldn't allow them to do this or that. Hmm. By the provisions of the Constitution, even if the National Assembly <coughs> is making laws for a state which is unable to make laws, that power does not extend to removing the governor or the deputy governor. So that point must be made clear. That power to make laws. You can make laws for traffic matters, issues, uh, but the power of the National Assembly to make laws for the state does not extend at all. So the office of the governor and the deputy, the occupants of it, the incumbency of it is never touched. Hmm. So once we get that issue out, once we get that fear out, then we can look dispassionately at the issues. What are the issues? The National Assembly is worried about what is happening in the Doha and Bauchi states. That's fact. They came for um fact finding and they were received by the members of the house so if they had no business coming to a new state i would think that the speaker and the members would not have uh, received them they would have told them you know what you know uh, get out of this place but they received them they were received by dignitaries in a new state i think they even went to visit the governor i, I apologize if i get it wrong but mm -hmm. i think i saw it at some point they went to visit the governor mm -hmm. they went to visit the 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 royal father, mm -hmm. and you know, uh, they moved around. So, and there were consultations. That's why I say that um, their coming was a welcome development. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think anybody can 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 take that away. So, it well, was a welcome development. Mm -hmm. The issue about their resolution of the of one arm of one arm of the national assembly does not act as a national assembly. There are two arms of the National Assembly, and both of them must concur in any decision they are taking that is going to affect um, externally. So uh, that, is, that is on that side. So we must, we must balance it. We must try to bring down the tempo of agitation. There is already a house inaugurated. And when you are inaugurated, you are already there, and others have issues with you. Reach out to them.
Barista Matthew, according to what Barista Party talked about, they said that part is like vague. Uh, what uh, Barista Daily Benito also stressed on is that it's not a crime for them to come in to look for ways to provide solution to the problem, the devil in uh, the political uh, uh, terrain, so to speak, in Edo said, after all, they were all welcome. Take it up from there. It is not vague. It is self-explicit. Mm -hmm. If you look at that session 11, session 4 and 5, everything is self-explanatory. The condition that we they can even intervene was spelled out. Scenario that must arise. It's not a thing they do wishfully. We feel like, no. That situation must arise and there must be compelling circumstance. And the situation must be such that the assembly is not is unable to discharge legislative business, which is not it's not the case in the states. And that session never stated that they will go to a house that is not inaugurated to take over. No. If they're arguing that the house is not properly inaugurated, which means by their own uh, uh, admission, there's no inaugurated house. It means there's no house. When there's no house, the intervention cannot even take place. They should have waited for the, the inauguration to happen. That doesn't give them the right to ensure that, that the house should be inaugurated. No. It's ultra virus for them to even be meddling with issue of inauguration of a house. It's a house that is already inaugurated that became unable to function. That is when they can even intervene by the spirit and temperament of that right. session. Now, here they are saying the house, will, uh, by their own uh, conclusion, is not properly you know, it's not inaugurated. They don't recognize the inauguration. There should be a fresh letter of proclamation to be issued by the governor. That is their, that is their own recommendation. That means, if you go by logic and the law, the, they are not even allowed by that session to make any comment because it is, it is pre-inauguration issue. When there is crisis in the house? How do you have a house when there is When you have others say that they have not been inaugurated? Listen. When you have constituencies not being represented? Are you getting, are you, when you are saying constituency? I said, I said earlier on that individual uh, member elect was elected as an individual. On the ballot, there was no group representing the constituency. Yes. And now they are not being represented. They say there's no trouble. In the house. They should not be represented. They are on the stay away from the house. They are saying they do not recognize that inauguration. They want their own terms for the inauguration. We didn't vote as a people for more than one person per constituency. So if you have an issue, you should pursue it as, a, as a, a holder of a mandate of a constituency. That question of a group of a member elect is an aberration. The such group does not exist either in politics or in law. All right. I'll come back to now you. Now I tell you, what they are doing by their own submi or, uh, submission or admission mm -hmm. is against the, the, the reason that will prevail for them to even intervene. They say there is no house. House is not the complex. Mm -hmm. House is inaugurated house. All right. So what are they intervening? All right. I'll come back to you. Now, still talking about the Abuja effect, you get to see a group of aggrieved elected, so to speak, with these uh, legislators. You are talking about the House of Assembly, the Edo State of Assembly going to Abuja to lay complaints before a committee, before they were sent to uh, do some fact-finding to see if they can really bring these two aggrieved parties together. Barrister Patrick, from what you said, the vagueness of that part of the Constitution, though Barrister Matthew says that part isn't vague, it's self-explanatory. The stand of the House of Reps, because you use a term, the people will not really agree with you that they are busy body, they came in to do something important. Do you think that there is power placed somewhere influencing their own recommendation? Yeah, yes, of, of course, of course, by their conduct, yeah, by their conduct, maybe there's a power play. Somebody placing them outside, outside the state. Mm. And I told you by matter of section 11, eh? by matter of section 11, it makes it clear. Even the, 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 the role of the National Assembly. Like I said, I said that part of that section, mm. 11 of section 4, makes it clear. It's a National Assembly. What is the National Assembly? It's not the National Assemblies. It's not like the Sumerian Pura. It's the National Assembly, it means one. But then he did not certify whether Senate. Or red. It's only one other day you have National Assembly. <laughs> Wait now. Two chambers. You have red, I, uh, the lower chamber or lower chamber. Mm. It's one. I'm trying to say, you have to fight. Say that as uh, as of red or as of red. Then, if it is so, let me let me assume, let me concede that is uh, is one. Well, then, 
That's why I said they have a, they, they are being influenced. Why would they just run down? All that's a threat. We have to have a, a, a joint sitting, a joint sitting, a okay. committee over this matter. And yeah, don't forget also that the Senate also they are still in town. No, but they're doing their recommendation already. They should. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, it's not taking it easy. Mm. I said ordinarily, oh, either if there's something done, both are in good faith. Yeah. They have to consult it with the uh, 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 National Assembly. Do that uh, uh, the Constitution Section 11. They set up a joint committee. Two After that, they, they do joint, joint sitting in some certain issues. They do sit over this issue so that it will, it will be holistic recommendation. Not even order that they, they did. So you know, not just single-handedly. When you also know that a matter is in court, because this is going to be due to kind of constitutional crisis, it will end up. You know, court too well. At the time the court now give them very well, ever, it will set aside whatever uh, you have already. Because the matter is in court. You don't act. And as for me, it's already completed act. You cannot show a completed act. What are you doing? It's already completed act. You have a functional assembly. You don't know what to have now. So the, the even consider this you say power to us. It's not it's not say take care of the power. Even when there's a crisis, there's even a war. For, let me say, let them any kind of crisis. Mm -hmm. It does not even give such them such powers. The constitution says it's not automatic, it's not even compulsory. It says they may. What is the constitution? You must say shah. That will be automatic to play that role. No. Even when there's a problem, and you find that there's a problem. That problem you say you may, not that like you shall, you must. That's what this means you say. So the way they play up and the way they did the whole thing, it makes you want to be scared. That's why you see the government is also scared. It's human. Because we know like what they, they like uh, Brother Dele said, it's one of the things that the, the past uh, that they, they, they must not do. If you can if you may, because you can make law for other uh, men laws. Mm -hmm. But you don't you don't have the power to remove the governor. I believe the governor knows that too well. But yeah, they, don't, they don't have the power to uh, they don't have to uh, take over as for assembly. They don't have the power to remove the governor. I believe the government was also say, say, well. But it is those uh, players, those uh, principal officers of that that government is afraid of. Oh, wow. That this one might come, do some something uh, wonderful, wonder, you know, about that one. So let us watch and see, let us see the Senate uh, recommendation, what they will do. Oh, but right. don't forget that the matter is for, uh, before the court. And when the matter is before the court, we'll uh, don't uh, talk about it. Or right. we need to prejudice. Now, you talked about the end game. Yes. So take it up from there. Now, <coughs> obviously, um, you know, politicians um, are calculating animals. Mm. Uh, no politician starts something without having an end game in sight. Of course. There's a reason why things are being done. We are looking at, um, 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 you know, those state is soon going to have to elect. I think from next year we start politicking mm -hmm. uh, to, to, for the re-election of the governor or someone else. So mm -hmm. all these are permutations. Uh -huh. But in doing that, um, I also say, and, and this is my, my attitude, um, the house has been inaugurated. Like they said, we all know that. Mm. What, where do you now go from here? There are some people who feel that they have been left out. My attitude is um, the speaker should do all that he can and continue to do it to rally them back, to, to build bridges. Then the party, both at the national and the state level, there may have been some bifurcation, but there must be some voices of reason, some voices of peace, some, because this is this still one political party. And my attitude is, if it is better to fight in government house than to fight in railroad, it's better, what I mean by that, it is better for when you contest election, you have won, you are now in government, you are in government house, you are quarreling inside government house. Uh -huh. You can resolve yourself inside government house. It's better to do that than you are fighting uh, outside the fence. <laughs> outside the fence. You are not in government. You have lost the election. You are all quarreling with yourself. So these are factors that must be considered. Mm -hmm. It must not be seen as if uh, those state is a one-party state. Whatever you do, the people cannot react. Because some people at some point might start feeling, are we really sure that these people can you know, run this are they matured enough to handle this sort of thing? Or should we be thinking of uh, alternatives? Those, those, you can't rule out such thoughts. But the way to go about it, to my mind, now, I, um, I try not to be politically correct in everything that I say, mm -hmm. uh, but the I mean, way to go about it is let us continue to try to build bridges across both divides. Mm -hmm. Yes, one man may feel he has been he has not been fully respected. Um, these other people have not given me my due respect. I'm going to pull down the whole thing. Don't forget that 
the man, the madman who sets his father's house on fire to create a royal bush path has all destroyed his inheritance. Hmm. The madman sets his father's house on fire. Say, ah, don't mind it, at least people can pass here to the farm. You have just destroyed the, your inheritance. So that is on one side. On the other side, too, the son whose father insults him and you raise him up and hit him on the ground in a public square, you are also not attracting uh, all the respect mm. and encomium to yourself. Because mm. people will say, hey, who is that man? He's beating. He says, his father. I say, ah, he must be. He cannot be a very good uh, father. <laughs> a very good son mm. uh, to beat up your father in the middle of the square. square so, yeah. on both sides, at the end of the day, but, but people must try to start to close ranks. You, you, you give today, you, you, how do they say it? You, 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 you give up today to win tomorrow. You can't win the battle all the time. Nobody wins all the time. Only David won all the battles of his life. Mm -hmm. And that was because God was with him. In this matter, I don't think God is with him. If you consult God, don't bring God into this. Don't bring God into this. So, parties must uh, cool temper. Let us, All right. let us start to cool temper now. All right. All right. Now, now he's talking about building bridges. And now we have the Senate also doing their own uh, findings. Though the House of Rep, they, 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 they came around, they did as they gave recommendation. You call it order. Now, the Senate does stay in their house. Do you think that stoking the embers, so to speak, giving proclamation and, of course, ultimatum, other than building bridges? Is best for the Edo people. Building bridges anywhere in the world is not a thing to be discouraged mm. because we need bridges to cross over a difficult terrain, mm. be it uh, rough ground or water. The truth is that people are beginning to have a, a very narrow understanding of the, the concept of governance on, as far as this issue is related. When you win an election, you are no longer representing those members of your party alone. That is a dual state house of not APC secretariat. Mm. The government house is not APC government house. It's a dual state government house. Obaseki is not governor of APC. It's an APC governor, but not governor of APC people. It's governor of a dual people. He controls our budget, our entire destiny for uh, economically and otherwise, socially, politically, for between now and uh, the end of his tenure. So we are all stakeholders, whether you are in APC, Kowa, where as far as you are an adult state uh, person, you are a stakeholder in this whole thing. So people are trying to make it look like a party, a party affair, they are getting it wrong. We have a federal government for Nigerian people, state government for adult people. So that is why the argument should not be seen as, well, we are not having, we are not, we can handle it internally. No, you can't handle it, you must handle it legally and lawfully. That was why I said, Anybody who was elected to represent his constituency represent the constituency as a holder of a mandate in trust for the people who elected him. Not only those who voted him, now, the entire people of that constituency. So when you are saying you are not going to form a group, I'm asking you, when were you voted as a, elected as a group? Do you have an SUG government before you get admission to the university? Were you voted to be SUG president? Because the ground is that I wanted to be speaker. I wanted to be this. They didn't allow me to be. The question is, you have voted to be member of the house. When you enter there, the office of the speaker, any, any paper office, is not a permanent seat. Even if you are elected, you can still, you can still change the leadership if you have the numbers. So why are you shying away from going to get inaugurated? You are saying you were not informed. Now you have been informed. Assume you're not informed. You have been informed now. I, 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 heard about, I heard of the argument of one of the assembly members. National Assembly went to, who is a member of the committee. He was saying, the question says, every house you have a social, social number of persons, that less than that number cannot constitute a house of assembly. And I asked him, assuming you win election, you have health issues, you could not attend a group, the house will wait for you. Or you're having an issue with courts. I said, Koro Cha did not join the inaugurated uh, National Assembly. He joined them. So, uh, Apata Singh came in after the Supreme Court decision. Why did they not issue a fresh, a fresh notice by their own admission now? So, it means they have a very ulterior motive. For him to say that, 
down to it is far, uh, it is hundred over hundred. Inauguration is not, it's not, it's not. That was what he said. It's in the papers. That when I saw that, I was shocked. I said, oh, you have a very skewed motive. Mm. You are, you are working towards an end. Mm. You have the answer before you start the calculation. So that is not mathematics. Mm. All right. You have an answer before uh, the, the question <laughs> that brings us all about <laughs> the end game. But as we know, made it clear that according to the Constitution, even if would leave the House or should uh, uh, well take over the the. the the ABC uh, House of Assembly don't have the right to touch the office of the governor or the deputy. Now, see, talking about power play, and if we're talking about influence, knowing fully what that this is on the ground, and of course, we have what we call the end game, according to Barista Delic Binedio in this uh, discourse. What do you think the Senate should do? Because right now they are still doing their own investigation, consulting to get to know how to lay this issue to rest. Marissa Patrick. Yes, I think uh, the best thing, my own advice, uh, advice is that uh, the Senate should take a uh, contrary view, action, different from the what they read, the action they took. But just advise, give them a uh, very reasonable advice to go back. I mean, so that they can be inaugurated. Go and meet. Go, you are, it's open. It's you have speaker. They have not rejected you. Shots, yeah. If the speaker have rejected you now, not to come and it's a different thing. That's the truth of the matter. Because time is running. Yes, the, hold on, hold on. Sorry for interjecting, but if they've not been rejected, how come they are crying foul? No, but they are not saying they are not advised. They are not to them. There's a reason for that too. Let me tell you now. Like you see, like uh, what my colleague said, I remember to several, to several that you know, once you were elected, you are no longer. You see, people voted for you. It's no longer your personal matter. No, 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 no. People, your people, you're representing. Are you happy that for almost a, a weeks now, your people are not seeing you representing them? Who you are representing? Are you still representing them? No, but your people, if you cannot take, if you cannot change your mind, they become your people. Who you are representing? You see, I don't feel sad. That's what I think that's what the mentality they have, which is a very wrong one. All these people. See, if they say uh, party supreme, party supremacy, you find that our start law. Eh? By the of section 14 of our constitution, make it clear that, uh, that there is a country that will put on democracy, then power belongs to the people. Mm -hmm. And even which the government draws power from, mm -hmm. even if, uh, the president, if only constitution for their power. So it makes that they are supreme, the people are supreme, they are not powerful. Even though the government, that's where the government will draw their power from. Power belongs to the people, which is more superior to that of your uh, party. But then, if uh, we will have a kind of inconsistency between your own party constitution and the, our own uh, uh, constitution, under constitution, is to that normal void. It takes precedence in our constitution, which I made it so. Your constitution can never be superior to our constitution of the Republic of Nigeria. It's inferior. And I made it by the of the fourteen. So because of that, the people is the more important. First, you to put forward for any other people. So that for the last simple reason. If you have this thing in mentality, you have to give up your battle. Because it, 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 you're working against, uh, the, against your people. Who voted you to represent them? They never voted you to go and sit in Abuja. A group. A group. Or to a group. You are, you are going to constituency. The, 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 the That's why they should give them honorable advice. Them go back. This guy will receive you. You know what you see. The people of speaker, deputy, and executive. Anybody can be changed. Yeah. This is it just uh, you know, only, your echo. The only thing that they, 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 so you know, come in. The nobody voted you as a speaker when you when we were discussing. Uh, the 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 no, no. You are equal, but you have executive to lead, which they can be changed any time. The last uh, sister assembly that way, uh, Ati Bek was the speaker. Uh, there was a, mm. so many. <laughs> It comes, it comes and goes, one that you must be. Stay in the way. So if they have an honest motive, they have to join the house. Then in future time, they feel that the man is not doing well, they can change him. He's not a permanent, he, he did not vote for office of the speaker. So it's not a fixed thing that, oh, that means he's going to be the next speaker for life. That's what so that was that was that that was so that that was that that was 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 they said, he said, oh, he said, oh, no. But the PC and PDP, they, if they don't like it, they will pitch him. So that okay. one, if they, they should respect their people, they have, they should have the feeling of the consistency. Not single moment in Abuja. So a single person cannot be more better than their people. Right. So, so I think the best way forward is that they advise them, go off. Let them go. But send anything contrary. I think I also, I, I told you, I foresee constitutional crisis. And before you know it, they should know it's counting. Mm -hmm. There is counting. It can be the last for next one, two years, three years. Ten or four years, ten or everybody go home. That is the end. They are, they are, they are, they are the one losing. 
All right. All right, now, gentlemen. And our political office is like is like that in danger. Yes. Yes. No, but let's say any political office, they pay with them. So they do not tell you your political official career. Because now that seems to be the theory right now, the point of constituency. Anyway, gentlemen, you will have a minute each to summarize your point. Barry Sidney Benedio, I like to call you the advocate of peace in this in this particular set. And yes, others are speaking peace. It's like you're more of peace. Yes. And then, gentlemen, one minute each to summarize the point because the Abuja effect is still very much strong. But they're going to move to Abuja to address some persons. And of course, uh, the group also, the aggrieved group, though, Barrister Matthew is against the group thing. They went to Abuja also to air their grievance, calling on them to come intervene to look for which proper solution to this bedeviling crisis. Go to crisis. Abuja, not Abuja. Abuja is not their crisis. Oh, come on, Barrister Matthew. <laughs> come on. <laughs> so, please, a, a minute each to summarize. What do you think should be the way forward in this crisis? Is there an end to it? Well, for me, I would uh, again uh, adopt that uh, mantle, if you like it, of advocating <laughs> for peace. Um, I, I, I think the Senate, if I might just you know, chip that in, yeah. the Senate that is considering now should be able to prevail on those who, are, who have relocated to Abuja to return to their constituencies. Return to their constituencies, consult with their people, and go to the House, fulfill the requirements, and get inaugurated. Uh, the inauguration is just for you to swear to, to take, recite, the oath. The, take the oath, mm -hmm. uh, and then you can begin to function as a member of the house. Uh, but I would not go so far as to uh, support what he has suggested about changing of speakership and all that. I, I don't want to see that happen. I think we should have some stability, you know, going forward. So an end in sight is to empanel some courageous. Um, people who will meet both parties. And I would also, with all due respect, discourage our governor, uh, you know, uh, from um, speaking on these issues and, you know, um, you know, making comments otherwise than the one that will, will bring down the temple. Mm -hmm. uh, because, um, um, you know, he, he is the, 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 the father of the state as it is now. And as a father, you will get all these knocks from your children. Mm -hmm. uh, it is for you to maintain and even kill. And, and if you find in your administration persons who are close to you and uh, who continue to beat for you the drums of war, 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 then at a time at, as a governor, you ought to reassess the advice that they are giving you because it's not always war, war, war. At some point, at some point, you know, when, when I was in the house, our speaker then was called Ekpenkyo. Mm. One day I asked him, what is the meaning of this, your name, Ekpenkyo? He said, the lion that will spring will first retreat. Mm. So for the lion to spring, he retreats retreat. first. So it's mm. not every time the lion just springs. Sometimes you retreat. Oh, you retreat right. and plan properly. Right. And, you know, so that is what I would suggest at this point. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so, so much, Barrister Delek Binedio, Barrister Matthew. One minute to summarize your point. Yes, we don't want Abuja interference in our domestic affairs in Edo State. Edo State are very sophisticated people. We are not timid. We are not confused. The laws are there to guide our conduct. And I think the assembly was inaugurated in line with the law of the land and the rules of the house. Mm -hmm. If there is any issue with the rule or quarrel with it, the proper place to go for interpretation of the law is the court of law. You don't you don't become you can't be a lawmaker and a law interpreter at the same time. You can't be functioning in two roles. Right. They are lawmakers, they are not law interpreters. Right. They are not enforcers of the law debate. Thank you, thank you so so much, Barrister Matthew and then I say for your uh, uh, summation. Barrister Patrick he said, well, no, briefly one minute. Yes, I think the only way that can uh, we can solve this problem fundamentally is uh, when we try to avoid the particular problem, you're not able to solve it, it means you have a fundamental problem. We have to be honest to ourselves. It's only the truth. The Bible says, it's only the truth that can set you free. Those who are involved to over this matter, they should have uh, a you issue with honesty, truth, and justice. Because you are aware, we are not, because we will have, we know what happened one time. When Gaba was impeached, we told several members, several members, they took in the, they were, they were from the house. Where was Abuja? Oshimbe was the governor of the state. Where was Abuja then to intervene? Seven members. Even I, 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 I cried loud. I was uh, very bitter. How can the leader of government be moved to government house? Not a session of uh, executive of government. In government house. Where was Abuja? This is what I'm not going to that extent. I'm not going to that extent. 
Calm so, down. So what the fuck is that? Now we are like, no, what we want to ourselves. Watch your emotions. Yes, what we want to ourselves. So the only thing is that you see, I'm afraid to say that the boy is already focused. The man is the man is doing his best. He's already focused, but it's already sad. That's what it's human. You see, if you beat a child, you just expect it to cry. That just doesn't matter. That was that. That is really not that he's doing. He's doing his work. He's working. So if they are paid matter with truth, we will solve the problem. But not by but the other way around. Alternatively, let them go to court. That's the only solution to this problem. Thank you, thank you so so much, Barrister Patrick. But come on, watch your emotions. Well, you've heard them. They are all legal practitioners. They spoke from a legal term, and of course, you can feel. Uh, a taint of emotions, yeah, is, is part of it. But like what we used to say, watch your emotions. Uh, and of course, you get to hear the part of peace also, which is the ultimate. Every time war, 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 will not really all go well for the state, will not really all go well for the polity. Start building bridges. Get a group of people. Get them in. What's the problem? Solve it. Because there's nothing that is impossible as long as you put your heart to do it. Peace is possible. It can be achieved. It can be attained. Come together so that a dual state can move forward. Believe you me, this is a distraction, a big distraction. Focus, focus, focus on governance. Thank you so much, gentlemen. I appreciate a wonderful analysis.